Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and today is going to be a review of some sorts. Now I'm not a review channel. Sorry, my R's and my W's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Hispanic. Even though English is my first language, I still have trouble with my R's and W's, so bear with me. I Like I said, just like I was trying to say, I'm not a review channel. However, I figured like this would be a great video. I feel like this has been going around for a while now. Recently, my friend got into it and she got her pair sent in and I was like, ooh, I saw that. I'm considering it. Let me do the same. We're going to quickly go over the services and what Warby Parker can offer as well as prices. But quickly, I do want to go into pricing details wise because if you don't have insurance which currently my ophthalmologist which is eye doctor doesn't take my insurance anymore so I'm gonna have to pay out of pocket and the closest ophthalmologist that does take my insurance is booked out until May and is an hour away from me so let I'm just not gonna deal with that option because a lot of places don't take the medication that I have so I'm just gonna bite the bullet and you know, whatever. I haven't gone to the ophthalmologist in years actually. So the eye exam out of pocket cost is for me is gonna run me about $130. Pricing wise, if I would have got a pair of glasses from that eye doctor's office, it starts about $120 per glasses. So and I'm primarily a contact wearer so I currently own two pairs of glasses they're both sitting in my car right now one I keep case emergency my contacts fell out whatever they're dry what have you because they're one a day that I currently use so I use about I have a backup pair that I had since high school they no longer fit me the frames are too small so that's just an emergency pair and then the one that I use primarily when you know don't feel like wearing my contacts are crooked so they lean to the side and only I can see it but they're crooked and I don't like it so I think it's time for a new eye exam and a new pair of glasses so I was like okay cool I'll try the services so their glasses start from $95 and up and we'll just go through them so if you're unfamiliar with Warby Parker like I was about mm, a week or so prior you can pick five glasses from their curated list to try on at home pick the glasses that you want schedule your eye exam if it's been longer than 12 months and then have your ophthalmologist or eye doctor office to send in the script to Warby Parker they'll fill it out and then they'll you pay for the glasses that you want and then they'll ship you the new frame with prescription lenses the try at home glasses obviously do not have the prescription in them they're just for try on purposes. We're gonna go on their site. I'm sorry if I keep looking down. But when you first go on their site, they have three separate categories, which is home try on, eyeglasses, and contacts. They also do provide sunglasses and prescription sunglasses, but it is extra. So then you can either shop by men and shop by women. I screen recorded both women and men because sometimes you go into the men categories and you prefer either like in any genre clothing glasses shoes whatever sometimes you know shop both gendered categories you know and then right underneath that mine says see quiz results because I already took the quiz but it'll tell you to take the quiz so I'm gonna go back to the screen recording and I'm gonna pop it up the quiz that I took so it tells you whether you wear glasses or if this is your first pair I clicked I do wear glasses it'll ask you if you're narrow medium or wide face because then it'll narrow down eyeglasses pairs that fit your face I put wide in this section you can pick multiple if you want round rectangular square or cat eye shaped I picked round square and rectangular I don't really like the cat eye look it makes me feel like a librarian with like the anyways and then it'll go into colors brights neutrals black turquoise crystal and two-toned I picked bright neutral black and two-toned so then it'll go into acetate metal or mixed material so acetate for me is like plastic I don't know the specific breakdown of the acetated I'm sorry and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong if I'm being quite honest metal I don't like the piece thing that like sits into your nose bridge and digs into your skin I hate it so I've never worn metal glasses and then mixed material I can get in mixed material it does have 
the combination of the top frame being acetate and the bottom frame being metal. So I just picked mixed material and acetate. And then it'll tell you how long ago was your last eye exam. It'll ask you if you want sunglasses or just glasses. And then it'll send your email. Then it'll narrow down the pairs of glasses you can try in at home based on your quiz results. And you can pick five. Okay. So then here I'm going through all the at home glasses. So after you pick the five glasses that you want to try on at home, you put in your email address. It will ask for a credit card, but it won't charge you anything unless you don't bring back the five pairs of glasses. And it's like a $1 fee and it will come right back. I feel like if you ever go on some online shop and they verify that it's an actual card or whatever, the dollar fee and they will put it right back onto your card. Now also something they do offer is contacts which I didn't even consider. This is what's left. So my each of my eyes are different prescriptions. So my left one is negative 2.25 and my right one is negative 2.00. I do have awful vision. Don't question me about it. <laughs> so it is the Copper Vision Pro Clear One Day. They provide a wide variety of different contacts you can buy from daily, monthly, I don't know, up to yearly. I didn't go through each and every contact available because that is not what I needed so I just looked for the ones that fit mine so I've been talking off for a long long time we went over everything that the site provides eyeglasses sunglasses contacts I'm sorry I'm waving around the scissors to open up my box and the try on home glasses and the quiz and everything like that so let's move on to the actual packet oh okay let's get this okay so this is the first thing you see when you open the package try on home handbook Ooh, we don't need that I'm just kidding I'm gonna look at it later thank you so much for ordering ready to buy ready to send these back please return all the eyeglasses that came with your try on home okay okay cool, cool cool but they do send you a return label that comes with it same thing with like the ancestry DNA kit you just send it in the same box it comes in put the sticker over it oh I like these I really like these they all come individually plastic wrapped I just took them all out of their plastic wrapping so here's the first pair okay I like honestly Ooh, the lenses are dirty, sister. Dirty. Hopefully they're wiped down because, you know, COVID. Also, this is one of the reasons I don't wear glasses when I'm filming is because the glare bothers me to no freaking end. So, pair number one. These pair were called Duran. Okay, well, I feel like these are way too small for my face. To be fair, these are shaped for narrow-faced people. So, these are called Sadie. The next pair is called Madeline. I feel like I'm doing a mug shot. The fourth pair is called Oliver. And these are, sorry, a little dirty, that's what they are. These are the two-tone glasses. And the last pair is called Daisy. Oh, again, I gotta clean her. So, the two glasses I thought I was gonna like were the Daisy and Madeline. I can't even see how I'm looking, to be fair. So I can't tell you. Right off the bat, I really liked Duran, which I wasn't expecting to. The bottom two are definitely Oliver and Sadie. The top three are Duran, Madeline, and Daisy. Hey guys, welcome to this unexpected part two of the video potentially probably another part three because I ordered more try on home glasses 
So this is currently one out of the two pairs of glasses that I own. I actually threw out the other pair of glasses that I mentioned earlier in this video because the prescription was about maybe six years old <laughs> and I really couldn't see with them so it was pointless to use them as an emergency backup pair for driving. This is the second pair. Now what I didn't show you was the unboxing of what the actual box looks like. So it looks like this and all of these glasses are all individually wrapped in this plastic wrapping and it tells you the name, color, and what have you. But for the purpose of this video and to save you the annoying audio of me ruffling through plastic, I just took them all out. So the first pair are the Duran glasses. Now I did already order the same Duran brand of glasses so it's the same frame just a different color and these are all all of these glasses are in the shape wide which is not for my face um, I'm gonna look down so you can see the actual frame without the flare the frame of glasses that do fit me the best are the ones that come in medium so the second pair is called welty these are the ones that are the medium sized frame glasses for me and these are the two toned kind of glasses so these are the Brady W glasses. Online, these look a little bit more thicker, but obviously the rest of the glasses are all in wide frame. But I like these. So comment down below in the comment section which glasses you think fit me the best or prefer. Oh, by the way, these are called Haley. These are called Hughes. Y'all don't cover me for these glasses. I already can tell. I can't see, but I can tell. But anyways, so. Now that I tried them all on, I am going to rank them. Okay, so the bottom two that I like the least are Brady and Huge, or however you say it. And this sucks to say, but... I really loved the clear one with the blue inner lining called Durand, but it's priced at $145 and sis, I'm not paying for that. So the top two are Welty. Now if you remember, the ki these kind of look like the glasses in the first box. So Haley is the top second pair of glasses. Now with the try on at home, you're only allowed one box at a time. So ordered the other two without knowing this this is the second box that I had ordered there, there's no extra charge but they're all free to have shipped to you even if you try to order multiple boxes but the only caveat is that you have to return the other first box they have to receive it and then they'll ship out the second try at home glasses that you ordered if I were to give you a timestamp Two weeks minimum hey so this is the final installment of the entirety of this video part three because it has been set up into three different parts and took months honestly but let's just get right on into it I'm covering it because it has part of my address but this is the final box this is what it looks like so this pair is called Lindell or Lindell I'm sorry I'm, I know I'm pronouncing this wrong but This pair is called Carlton. Again, similar. This is the probably the third clear pair of glasses I tried on, but this is called Haley. This pair of glasses is called Percy. Now this is the last pair out of all of the five, and this is called Right. So out of the third box, the top two glasses are Lydell and Carlton. Meaning the remaining three, this is giving me very much librarian vibes and not like a cute librarian vibes kind of thing, so I didn't feel like it. Percy, I don't know. The roundness doesn't fit my face. 
and right again they're too round for me so by the time this third box came in i already got a new pair of glasses that are prescription glasses so drum roll please no one in this room at all ta-da <laughs> Now, here's a caveat. So out of all the 15 glasses that I tried on, the third box already, you know, it was too late. I already ordered my pair of glasses that I needed. So, and the last box was kind of like throwaway glasses that I was like, I can just throw in here. Not none necessarily that I specifically wanted to like try on and wear. So... The caveat is I already ordered the Sadie glasses, which I'll pop up here. So I already ordered the Sadie glasses to be my like prescription glasses. So the pair of glasses themselves were $95 prescription. And then I ordered it to be transition shades as well, which is an extra $100. And the purpose of me wanting the transition was for when I drive, I need the shades to come on. So that's what the transitions are for when you are in a highly lit area or the sun is really glaring on you it's supposed to turn your lenses like to sunglasses pretty much and they do not work while i'm driving so that defeats the purpose of why i ordered them and also glasses themselves look different from the at home try on and from the online glasses and they were pretty round and they didn't really suit my face so I didn't go with those. I did like Daisy, if you guys remember, but it was just too plain, I guess. I ended up going with these. They're priced at $145, so I called customer service. They were excellent. The Sadie glasses I purchased were close to $200. I called customer service, and they're like, did you want a different pair of glasses? I'm like, yeah, I want these glasses. They're like, okay, that's $145. There's a difference of $50, and once we receive those Sadie glasses, you will get refunded $50. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this video all the way through, comment down a little pair of glasses or a little eyeballs emojis to signify that you watch this video all the way through and like comment subscribe because you just made me say this so yeah bye